What's up, Lingo fans? I'm Just S, and this is Coop, and this is your Lingo News Update, and Toronto Raptors hey. are in the NBA Finals. Thank God. Let's get it. The baby's been in the news recently and he seems to be in a little bit of trouble. The rapper has been known for his antics and today he got into a fight in a mall with another rapper named Cam Cold Heart. Yeah. Check out the video. Come on, you a bitch. Y'all look at that nigga the baby. That, that nigga the baby in here talking some shit. He walking up on me and shit like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking your shit off for? Scared away. Scared away. Scared away. You need a song. Scared away. 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 Not the mouth, me, Dolo, I'm the truth. Quit playing with me, boy. Quit playing with me, boy. Pick your pants up, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck wrong with him. What'd you think about that? First of all, it's weird having uh -huh. the baby in a sentence. I know, bro. I struggled quite a bit just to say his name right yeah. now. <laughs> like, like you said, the baby seemed to be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. It's like you're like, oh no, that baby seemed yeah. <laughs> You know? Um, I, I that dude is not someone to mess with, but at the same yeah, time, obviously, like, he looks like he's 45. Dude, he has a song called Shug. Yeah, 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 you know, like he looks like he's 45, bro. I know he looks really old, and he's well, honestly, this guy Cam Cold Heart, he's sort of an idiot, and I think he got what he deserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going around in the video himself saying that, oh, talking trash about the baby and saying that, oh, yeah, he's not gonna do nothing, he's not gonna do it, and then. He did something, yeah. and he got his ass. You don't do that. Like, like you don't go out asking for trouble. And exactly. if you do, like this is the response you're gonna get. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Like, exactly. This guy's basically like what Takashi Six Nine does while talking shit on Instagram. Yeah. You know, but doing it right beside the guy, like a dumbass. Yeah. And listen, at least <laughs> no. I've heard of the baby. Yeah. I have not heard of no Cam Cold Heart. Okay. More like Cam got knocked out cold. Like I don't know, man. Like I just feel like. This doesn't do anything to raise this coat. Yeah. If anything, people are just gonna clown him. Yeah. Especially now that you got your pants off and all that stuff. Like, bro, you got a body. I know. Wait, wait, what I don't know do? what I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. Um. I I would say that I wouldn't mess with the baby. You see that thing about how he? Uh, I wouldn't mess with any gangster rapper. Bro. I'm not know. like that. You see <laughs> that thing where he was giving out fake weed in the concert and it was yeah, like yeah, a pile of grass. grass. Yeah. Bro, like, who does that? <laughs> Um, Honestly, he came out of nowhere for me. I only started listening yeah. to him because of Spotify, and I actually like this album. Really? Yeah. I, like I gotta it. take. I gotta give it a listen. I've heard it's good too. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, Travis Scott seems to be dipping out on Diplo. Oh, I see what you did there. There you go. Uh, the DJ shared multiple texts uh, online, and he said that you know he sent a bunch of text messages to the Astro World rapper Mr. Scott, and Travis left Diplo on red. No response. Diplo reportedly wanted to do a collab, and obviously Scott was not down. Why do you think that happened? Uh, I think he's just too busy, you know, with Kylie and having a kid and all that. Yeah. But it's funny to see that when Diplo actually talked to him recently, that Travis Scott said that, oh yeah, let's do a collab, here's my number. And then he gives him the number, he's, he's like, like, this is the same number that I've had and I've been texting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that part, I, honestly, that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, I think I wouldn't want to hear a Travis Scott Diplo song. No, Diplo and, I think Diplo and Travis Scott would mix, mix well. No, it would mix well, but like I wouldn't be like I wouldn't be going out of my way to listen to that song. I, I'm a Diplo fan, so like I would. Name a Diplo song. Name a Diplo song. Yeah, I can't think of any. Where are you now? Uh, do, do, do. The thing is, Diplo goes by a lot of different monikers, so you don't realize it's actually him. You're right. You're like right. Major Liz, Major, Major Liz is, is Diplo, yeah. You know, um, Jack U is him and Skrillex. Oh, I did not know. Oh, that. you know, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, maybe I gotta get my Diplo game up. Yeah, he has a lot of good songs. He is funny though. On social media, I gotta give you that he's he's a funny guy. He, yeah, he, he posts he, really funny stuff. He's a little bit weird for a forty year old man. He's forty. 
Yeah. Man, that's why he doesn't want to collab with you. He probably thinks, <laughs> like, you're going to put some Motown funk in his song, and he's, uh, nah, man. Um, yeah. I, I, like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that song. I'm so down for Diplo. Hopefully Diplo, Travis Scott responds to you now, you know? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, so on to the next one. <laughs> Meek Mill seems to be beefing in hotels in Las Vegas. Yeah. After the Cosmopolitan Hotel threatened to call the cops on Meek and his entourage, Meek took it to social media and even posted the altercation. Check it out. I respect that, but if I, I, How can I you tell me I'm gonna be locked so up on trespassing? Yeah. But yeah. uh, what, what information? But no, no, but not refusing to do business with me. You telling me I'll be arrested if I don't leave. If I walk upstairs and get something to eat, I'm gonna be arrested for what? For being a rapper? For what? For what though? But well, what did you officially protest me for? For what? How? Our, 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 Say no more, we out. Let's say no more, man. Vice president. Send me that video? Yeah. Um, well, I think now Meek has like you know when you get caught with something and now you kinda like you're more aware and you're more like you're just vigilant about your situation a lot more. And I think Meek, in a lot of ways, he's just like being a lot more prepared and cautious with situations like uh, he filmed the altercation just to make sure he doesn't get arrested for anything, his crew doesn't get arrested for anything. And I think that's just because he's more cautious of how the police will treat him. Definitely. He's been so, like, for lack of a better term, woke yeah. in like, the, yeah. Past, yeah, the yeah. past like year or two. Yeah. You know? He's been... Especially after the second time in prison? Oh, dude. Yeah. That most definitely. This guy is like advocating rights yeah. and he, yeah. he's like a changed person. It's like Gucci Mane after he came out of jail. Definitely. Speaking yeah. of Gucci Mane coming out of jail, you know that we're uh, in Canada. They uh -huh. let him in finally. Oh, they did? Yeah, so Drake pulled some strings, so let me check my calendar, you know? <laughs> like, like, that actually worked out. Hopefully, Meek yeah. is next on that list. I would love to see Meek in Toronto. I would love to see Meek in Toronto. Because after everything that happened with him and Drake, and they made up, and that, and now it's just like, it's meant for that to happen. Exactly, yeah. and Meek was honestly, he's not that bad. No, he's not. He's not no, bad. he's not done anything crazy. And also, yeah, uh, that Cosmopol Cosmopolitan Hotel was racist, because what they were doing was nothing wrong. No, 100%. They, they didn't seem to be doing anything wrong. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for this week's week of Lingo News. This is Coop. I'm Just Us. And see you guys when the Raptors win the NBA championship. <laughs> that's right, buddy. That's right. See you guys. See ya.